Thanks for joining me with two minutes of encouragement. My name is J.D. Howell, and I want to encourage you today with one word and a concept. And this word and concept is remember. You know, sometimes we go through life and the, the older we get, the less we remember. We forget where we put our keys, or we place our wallet somewhere and it's gone. You can even go to a parking lot and forget where you parked your car. And I'm not talking about your keys or your wallet or your car. I want to encourage you today to remember God and His goodness. This past week, we had a youth conference here at First Baptist Church, and it was tremendous. Pastor Tom Shepard came and he spoke to us, did a fabulous job. It just preached about the truth from God's Word to our young people, and many, many teens and adults responded to the Word of God. They made decisions. Uh, they allowed God to work in their heart, and they allowed God to move in their heart. I hope that they remember what God did in their heart. But I find that as we get older, adults, we forget what God has done and what it means to respond to God. Do you remember when God has spoken to you, when God has touched your life, when God has answered your prayers, when God has shown His goodness, when God has shown mercy and grace and compassion, when God has touched your life in unique ways? You see, we often forget about what God has done. We forget His truth. We forget about answers to prayer. We forget His grace. And we operate in the, what have you done for me now, God? And my friend, I want to encourage you to remember. Remember the goodness of God. Remember what He does. Don't just let the young people, don't just let the teens respond to God. May each one of us remember who God is, what He has done, and what He wants to do. Remember.